Diabetes is a very complicated disease, so the current therapy all have some issues, like a certain side effect and hypoglycemia. We're thinking by developing a new drug targeted on the DK will have the potential to change the whole paradigm of the uh, diabetic treatment. Over the last 25 years, since we identified glucokinase is a very important enzyme that controls the blood glucose level, the major pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies start to go rush. Everybody start to do glucokinase activator. Hua Medicine is based in Shanghai. Though we're based in China now, we have the ambition to become the global player in the diabetic treatment. Previously, other companies also developed the GKA, but they all failed. They all have their issues. Any over-treatment uh, using uh, high concentrations of glucokinase activators, these are very, very potent agents, leads to glucolipotoxicity, to all kinds of problems. One of the good decisions of, of Hua was to, to do a dose dependency and find the minimal effective therapeutic dose rather than looking at quick effects. Dorsaglycin has an advantage uh, of acting in a glucose dependent manner. You know, the molecule only binds and activates at, at safe glucose levels. Dorsaglycin is the fourth generation of DKA. When our scientists uh, design the drug, they looked into other uh, GKA's problem and uh, avoided the, the issues associated with them. We have uh, taken the five uh, glucokinase activators, uh, all uh, entered in uh, phase two clinical trial. Different uh, chemical structure uh, result in different type of glucokinase activators. Some GKA only work in liver, some works both in uh, liver and uh, pancreas. We have to uh, find the right molecule working on the right organ at the right time, at the right level, and mimic the natural glucose regulation effect of GK by itself. The most important thing, the drug itself not taking over of the role of glucose as a sensor. Our blood glucose is controlled by the blood glucose, by the controlling hormone, insulin, glucagon, GLP-1, right? Those, what we call the PD markers. In order to do this relatively complex system, you have to develop a computer model. We actually be able to model how duragliatin is changing the enzyme kinetics of glucokinase in the healthy state or in the diabetic state, so that allow us to pick the right dose to help him design the clinical trials. The phase two study was initiated in September of 2015, and the result is stunning. Reduce high blood glucose level, no hypoglycemia, no GI side effect, at the same time, it's improve insulin sensitivity and improve the glucose sensitivity, which is the underlying cause of the disease. By repairing the glucose sensitivity, the whole body utilization of glucose can be also enhanced. In these two studies, the glucose disposition index increased significantly after 12-week treatment with dosagliatin. Surprisingly, for the drug-naive patient, and this may tend even after stopped the treatment over one week. And this strongly indicates dosagliatin may have the potential of the disease modifying. Because it's addressed the underlying cause of the type 2 diabetes, it's going to offer the help to the patients in China and then in the rest of the world. So this is what we're going to do, working together with the medical experts physicians and scientists around the globe.